Hi guys, it's Dave Farmer, and welcome back to my series on Reaper. In these early videos, I want to take a little bit of time just to address some of the things that kind of get in the way for Pro Tools users trying to switch over to Reaper. There's a handful of things that will really sort of trip you up and, and kind of drive you crazy. In this video, I want to address one issue, which is Reaper having trouble playing out of the Macintosh optical output. That's a common setup people use for Pro Tools users, particularly, you know, going optical output through their Omnis so they can monitor their Mac hardware. So there's a clocking issue that sort of happens when you choose the Mac optical output. And the only fix I've seen that works reliably is to make an aggregate device that includes both the Mac digital input and the output, and then choose that as your output device in Reaper. If you don't know how to set an aggregate device up, let's, let's do it real quick. So you go to Audio MIDI Setup, which is in your Applications folder and Utilities folder. It's called Audio MIDI Setup. So you open that, and you'll come down here and make New or Create Aggregate Device. And then you'll put a checkbox by built-in digital input and built-in digital output. So that includes the in and the out of the digital ends on the Mac. So now you can just rename this. I'm just going to call it Reaper Digital. Oops, Digital. There we go. Now when I switch back to Reaper, if I go to the preferences to choose the audio device, go to preferences, audio device, little pull down menu here, Reaper Digital. Hit that, hit apply, and you should be good to go. That should clear up any clocking issues, any jittery sort of messy audio you're hearing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.